Dairy products increase your risk of heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and cancer. But you can lose weight and lower your risk of cancer and other severe illnesses if you avoid dairy. In this video, you first learn how milk is made. Then you're going to discover why dairy is bad for your health. And in the last part of this video, you learn about the environmental impact of dairy products. So let's learn how milk is made. Milk is food for calves, not humans. Calves, like any creature, can only produce milk while they are pregnant. So to provide enough milk for us, cows are always kept pregnant. To impregnate a cow, the dairy farmer jams his or her arm far into the cow's rectum to locate and position the uterus. They then take sperm from a bull and forces an instrument into her vagina. The farmer separates the child from its mother within 24 hours after its birth. Calves spend their first two to three months of life confined in lonely hutches. Their diet consists of a milk replacer while humans drink the milk intended for them. Male calves end up in cramped wheel crates or are barren feedlots. The farmers fatten them for beef and the females follow the same sad fate as their mothers. Dairy farms are cruel places where they mistreat animals. The separation between the mother and child is traumatic. After the separation, the calves go to milking machines. They then have to milk two or more times a day. Each cow has to produce milk for several years. So after about four to five years, their bodies wear out from lactating all the time. The average cow today produces more than four times as much milk as cows did in 1950. Farmers use milking regimens and drugs to force the cows to produce more milk. So the milk production is an unnatural process that is cruel to animals. A cow under normal conditions can live for 20 to 25 years, but they get killed after four to five years when they can't perform anymore. So milk can also negatively affect our health. About 75% of the world's population is unable to digest milk. Cow's milk contains a sugar called lactose that can be difficult for people to digest. Dairy protein is the number one cause of food allergies. It can cause nausea, cramps, gas, bloating, diarrhea or autoimmune diseases. Milk is food for calves, not humans. Humans are the only animal that drinks another species' milk. The nutritional content of cow's milk is notably different from human milk. Cow's milk contains almost three times more protein and four times more calcium than human milk. Milk from cows is the perfect food for calves that grow four times faster than humans do. Cow's milk is the food that the calves need at the beginning of their life when they need to grow the most. So it's an ideal food to grow a calf from its 60 pound birth weight to a 600 pound young cow. So non-organic cow's milk contains excess hormones, antibiotics, steroids and pesticides. Even organic milk won't protect you from harm. Cow's milk contains over 60 different hormones, even if you don't add anything to it. If you watched my previous video, you know that meat contributes to cancer. Milk is like liquid meat. One of the components they both contain is IGF-1. IGF-1 stands for Insulin Growth Factor 1. It's a growth hormone that turns cancer more aggressive. Estrogen is common in cow's milk and increases your risk of cancer. To increase the production of milk, some farmers give cows Posillac or a bovine growth hormone. Dairy products are also known to contain several nasty pathogens. To combat the germs, many dairy farmers give antibiotics to cows, and these end up in the milk supply. Dairy products are one of the leading contributors to excess body fat. It affects 25% of children and 65% of adults in Western populations. Milk products are high in calories, fat, and cholesterol. It contributes to heart disease, strokes, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. Dairy can also increase the risk of prostate and ovarian cancer. One of the biggest myths about milk is that it builds strong bones. But countries that consume more milk have a higher incidence of osteoporosis. And countries that drink the least milk have fewer bone fractures. Milk is not the only source of calcium. Calcium is a mineral from the soil. 
Most basic diets of starches, vegetables and fruits have enough calcium in them to meet our needs. A better way to create healthy bones is to eliminate dairy. Get calcium from whole foods like vegetables, grains, beans and fruits. And don't forget to get adequate vitamin D from the sun. Things get worse when we concentrate milk and create cheeses. So how is cheese made? First, the milk comes to the factory, and the manufacturer pours it into a big tube. They then add bacteria to ferment the sugars that are in the milk. So after that, the producer adds rennet to the milk which coagulates the cheese. They then drain off all the whey. Whey is a mixture of water, lactose and some other things. So the factory workers then squeeze out the extra water and the end product is cheese. So at the last step, they add salt to the top. So what is the reason why cheese is bad? Cheese leads to more obesity. It's a blob of fat which contains about 70% fat. Mitochondria burns the calories in your body. They are organelles that act like a digestive system. So when fats get into the cells, your body turns down the production of mitochondria to keep the fat. A consequence of this process is a slowdown of your metabolism. So if you keep up this for years, you can't digest food properly. So too much fat clogged arteries and leads to heart disease and diabetes. Cheese doesn't contain any fiber and you end up eating more than you should. Three things in cheese make it addictive. The salt, the fat and case of morphines. The purpose of salt in the cheese is to stop bacteria growth from fermenting into mush. Excess salt leads to excessive water weight. Caseomorphins in the cheese are opiates. Opiates are the same chemical class as narcotic painkillers like heroin or morphine. The purpose of caseomorphin is to make the calves crave milk. Cheese is unhealthy and something you need to avoid. Dairy products also have a severe impact on our environment. We have all heard that CO2 in cars contribute to greenhouse gas. Animal livestock is the largest source of greenhouse gas, not cars. Cattle and their byproducts account for at least 42,000 million tons of CO2 per year. Animal agriculture is responsible for 18% of our emissions. That is more than the combined exhaust from all transportation. Livestock accounts for at least 65% of all human-related emissions of nitrous oxide. Agriculture uses 80-90% to of US water consumption. You need 2500 gallons of water to produce one pound of beef. One gallon of milk requires 1000 gallons of water to produce. Livestock occupies one-third of the Earth's ice-free land. Every minute, the animals raised for food in the US excrete 7 million pounds of manure. Animal agriculture is responsible for up to 91% of Amazon destruction. Our demand for meat and dairy creates enormous problems to our environment. It takes more resources to produce animal protein than an equal amount of plant protein. You need dozens of times more water and five times more land to produce animal protein. The resources don't exist to keep feeding the world animal foods at the level it wants. If you want to save both your health and the environment, then you should stop eating dairy now. Today you learn why dairy is bad for your health. Cows are always kept pregnant so that they can produce milk. Dairy farms are cruel places where they mistreat animals. Milk is food for calves, not humans. Cow's milk contains excess hormones, antibiotics, steroids, and pesticides. Dairy can cause nausea, cramps, gas, diarrhea, or autoimmune diseases like cancer. So after watching this video, it should be clear now that you can lose weight and decrease your risk of cancer and other serious illnesses if you avoid dairy. Download this recipe book to learn how to ditch dairy now. Learn how to make your own plant-based milk and cheeses. A link to this ebook is in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, then press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Share this video on social media to all your friends and families. 
please visit our blog at cancerwisdom.net to learn non-toxic ways to treat cancer. You can also download more free documents in our free resource library and learn other ways to treat cancer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.